how are you today? I am Teacher Lizelle. Today, we will learn a lesson that will help us identify where an action is done. Are you ready? Kids, I want you to read the text plus on your TV screen. Identify what type of text is presented here. Together, let's read after the beep. Birds build their own nest. They use their bills to build them. They use grass. They use roots too. They use soft things in their nest. Kids, what type of text is presented here? Correct! This is the type of text that enumerates. Now, I want you to look at the picture of a market. Say something about it. Have you experienced going to the market? Great! Me too! Today, we will identify and use adverbs of place in sentences. Before we start our lesson, I want you to be ready with your paper and your ball pen. Shall we start? Kids, read the dialogue. Find out where Mother and Jenny went one Saturday morning. Notice also the underlined words used in the dialogue. A Day in the Market by Mary Jane T. Gangangan One Saturday morning, Mother and Jenny went to buy the things they need at the market. Mother, I can see a lot of vendors everywhere. Yes, Jenny. They come to sell their products around the town. Here, please put these fish and vegetables in the basket. Why did you buy plenty of fish and vegetables, Mother? Are you going to cook all of this? No, my dear, we'll put some in the refrigerator. We can cook them the following day. All right, mother, let's go home now. I'm excited to taste the food you will cook for us today. Sure, I will cook your favorite dish, peanut bread. Kids, let's try to answer the questions. Where did Mother and Jenny go on Saturday morning? That's right. Mother and Jenny buy things they need at the market. Where are the vendors? Correct. There are vendors everywhere. Where do they sell their products? They sell their products around the town. Where did Jenny put the fish and vegetables? She put the fish and vegetables in the basket. Kids, look at the underlying words. What do these words tell? Have you guessed it yet? That's right. We tell where an action is done. What question do these words answer? That's right. It answers the question, where? Kids, a word that tells where an action is done is an adverb of place. An adverb may describe or modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. A word that answers where is an adverb of place. Here are other examples of adverbs of place. Verb. Behind, away, forward, here, upward, everywhere, around. Kids, let's try the first activity called Where Do Things Happen? For example, where does mother cook our food? Right, in the kitchen. What does in the kitchen tell? It tells where an action is done. What kind of adverb is it again, kids? Excellent! It is an adverb of place. Now, 
let's try the rest. Where do we buy snacks? That's right! We buy snacks in the canteen. Where do we borrow books? Great job! We borrow books in the library. Where do we play? We play in the playground. Let us try another activity. This is called Tell Me Where. You're going to identify the address of place in each sentence. Number one. There are many people at the park. What is the adverb of place in the first sentence? Excellent! At the park. Number two. There are children playing everywhere. Any guess? Right! Everywhere. Next sentence. Some boys hid behind a tree. What's the answer? Right again, behind the tree. Number four. Some girls are skating inside the skating rink. Good thinking inside the skating rink. Let's have the last number. Others are riding their bikes around the park. Well, what's the answer? Fantastic! It is around the park. Kids, you have answered all the questions. Now, let's proceed to another activity. Complete the sentences by writing the appropriate adverbs of place. Choose your answer from the words above. Now get your notebooks and write the correct answers. You have 5 seconds for each number. Ready? Great! The words to choose from are In the library Outdoors At the park Everywhere On the seashore We enjoy having picnic Blank. Children love to read books. Blank. It is nice to exercise. Blank. We can see God's creations. Blank. They enjoyed making sand castles blank. Kids, how did you do with the activity? I'm confident you did well. Now it's time for your assessment. I want you to get your ball pen and paper. The items will be flashed on your screens. You will be given 10 minutes to answer the activity. For the first activity, you will write five sentences using adverbs of place from the list. The adverbs to use in the sentences are outside, behind, everywhere, in the church, on the farm. For the second activity, you will read the riddle, answer if you can, Copy the adverbs of place that you can find. Read up. I am inside, outside, everywhere. You can see me, I know, but I refresh you every time I blow. Kids, when you finish answering, you may contact the number of your teachers found in your learning kit. Or you could email or send messages via messenger or SMS. Today, we'll learn how to identify and use adverbs of place in sentences. Always bear in mind kids, we can set up adverbs of place. It is important because we make use of these words in our day-to-day -day communication with friends, classmates, and family. 
kids, I hope you enjoyed and learned from what we have discussed today. This is Teacher Lizelle saying, keep learning English. See you next time. Bye.